Hi there. Welcome. My name is Kurt. This is uh, my fun quiz number 222. To take part in the quiz is quite simple. It's all old school pen, pencil and paper. That's all you need. I'll give you all the questions first. All the answers will come at the end and the quiz itself will take just over 30 minutes. So good luck and enjoy this quiz. We have six rounds, eight questions in each round. We have decades, science, a connection round as always, uh, Spain, general knowledge, and again, as always, some pictures to finish off with. So if you're all ready, let's make a start. Round number one, decades. And to help you in this round, all the answers are either 80s, 90s or noughties. So no 70s, 60s and 10s, okay? Right, question number one. In which decade did Daniel Craig first play James Bond? Ooh, that could be a, a dicey one, couldn't it? In which decade did Daniel Craig first play James Bond? Are you a Bond fan? Number two. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Ukraine occurred in which decade? The Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Ukraine occurred in which decade? Question three. Which decade saw the Nintendo Game Boy for sale in the UK? I remember the good old Game Boy. Used to love playing Tetris on the Game Boy. Which decade saw the Nintendo Game Boy for sale in the UK? Question four. Boris Johnson became mayor of London in which decade? Boris Johnson became mayor of London in which decade? Number five, David Bowie starred in the movie Labyrinth. In which decade? Have you seen the movie? The David Bowie starred in the movie Labyrinth. In which decade? Starred in quite a few movies in his time. Question six. In which decade was the fourth and final Lethal Weapon movie starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover released? In which decade was the fourth and final Lethal Weapon movie starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover released? Number seven, Lewis Hamilton became the youngest Formula One champion. In which decade? So Lewis Hamilton became the youngest Formula One champion in which decade? And finally, the last question in this round, number eight. In which decade did O.J. Simpson go on trial for the murder of his wife? Recently passed away. In which decade did O.J. Simpson go on trial for the murder of his wife? Huge news story at the time, huge. OK, moving on to round two. This is a science round. So question one, what are the ends of a magnet called? What are the ends of a magnet called? Question two. 
diamonds are formed from which element? Diamonds are formed from which element? Question number three. Which scientific instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Which scientific instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Question four. What is the process called when light bends when passing through a traditional lens? So what is the process called when light bends when passing through a traditional lens? Number five, what is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? What is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? That is question number five. Nice easy one. Question six. The MMR vaccine protects against which three diseases? Oh, one point for each three point question. Oh, we love these. The MMR vaccine protects against which three diseases? And moving on to question seven, the world's first commercial nuclear power station was opened in which country in 1956? Was it USA, Russia or UK? The world's first commercial nuclear power station was opened in which country in 1956? USA, Russia or the UK? Choice of three. And question eight. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to what reading on the Celsius scale? I used to hate trying to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to what reading on the Celsius scale? So I thought I'd make it painful for you. Moving on then round three, this is your connection round. Let's see how you get on. Question number one. What word other than magazine describes a metal holder for bullets for a firearm? So just think about it, think about it. What word other than magazine describes a metal holder for bullets for a firearm? Think about all the films, the movies you've seen involving guns. Question two. What term means to divide a pack of playing cards by lifting a portion from the top? <clears throat> what term means to divide a pack of playing cards by lifting a portion from the top? Number three. What is mental or physical activity that is carried out as a means of earning income? So what is mental or physical activity that is carried out as a means of earning income? Don't overthink it. Number four. What word can mean to give financial, material or moral support or to bet on someone or something? <clears throat> so what word can mean to give financial, material or moral support or to bet on someone or something?
Number five, what word describes the visible residue left behind a snail as it moves along? <laughs> Again, don't overthink it. Remember, once you get uh, your connection in this round, if you do, just check back through your answers and make sure they all fit. So question five, what word describes the visible residue left behind a snail as it moves along? Number six, what word describes the measurable force acting on an object due to gravel, gravity? Breaking my teeth in for a horse there. What word describes the measurable force acting on an object due to gravity? Don't overthink it. Now question seven, what is a building equipped with machinery for grinding grain into flour? So what is a building equipped with machinery for grinding grain into flour? Hopefully this will give you the connection if you haven't got it already. Because question eight is, as usual, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? I hope you've got something. We'll find out later on if it's correct. But for now, let's move on to round four. And this is all about Spain. So question one. In which of the Spanish costas would you find the holiday resort of Benidorm? Ah, I love Benidorm. In which of the Spanish costas would you find the holiday resort of Benidorm? <clears throat> Question two. Which country borders mainland Spain to the west? Which country borders mainland Spain to the west? On to number three. Full of shops, cafes and tourists' kiosks. What is the name of the street that runs from the port to the centre of Barcelona? More or less to the centre of Barcelona. So full of shops, cafes and tourists, kiosks. What is the name of the street that runs from the port to the centre of Barcelona? Walk this a couple of times. Number four. With which British overseas territory does Spain share a border? Should be a nice simple one, that one. With which British overseas territory does Spain share a border? Number five, which Spanish city hosted the 1992 Summer Olympic Games? Which Spanish city hosted the 1992 Summer Olympic Games? games it's quite quite a nice uh, tourist attraction i've been around that it's, it's yeah, very interesting on to number six which range of mountains separate spain from france which range of mountains separate spain from france Question seven. The stripes that make up the Spanish national flag are red and what other colour? The stripes that make up the Spanish national flag are red and what other colour? And your final Spanish question, number eight. What is the capital city of Spain? What is the capital city of Spain? 
nice easy one to finish off with hopefully moving on then to our general knowledge round round five question number one from which direction does the sun rise from which direction does the sun rise Number two, the three primary colours are red, blue and which other one? The three primary colours are red, blue and which other one? Moving on, question three. What is the world's smallest continent? Mm. What is the world's smallest continent? Question four, which planet is known as the red planet? Which planet is known as the red planet? Part number five. What type of gas is absorbed by plants? What type of gas is absorbed by plants? Question six. What's the primary ingredient in hummus? Oh, I love hummus. What's the primary ingredient in hummus? nice get a nice spicy hummus oh you can't beat it on to question seven which legendary surrealist artist is famous for painting melting clocks so which legendary surrealist artist is famous for painting melting clocks And finally, number eight, what is longer, a nautical mile or a mile? 50-50, if you're not sure. So what is longer, a nautical mile or a mile? Or are they the same? Is it a trick question? No, it's not. <laughs> Moving on. Round six, as always, here's your pictures. Number one, can you name this band? Should be quite an easy one. Can you name this band? Number two, what is the name of this band? Bit of a theme, I think, in this round. And what is the name of this band? Again, fairly simple, I think. Don't want to make it too hard for you. Question three, what is this band called? Question three, what is this band called? Question 
question number four. Oh, what is the name of this band? Again, fairly, fairly easy one. What is the name of this band? It's a group, but then they call them the difference between a band and a group. Question five, what band is this? To me, a band should be, should be playing musical instruments and a group should just be a group of singers, but that doesn't seem to be the case. What band is this for question five? Because we call them boy bands, even though they don't play musical instruments. So it's all very confusing. On to number six. Can you name this boy band? Talking of boy bands, look how young they are there. That's a that's got to be an easy one. Can you name this boy band? Moving on, question seven. What is the name of this group? Again, group, band, you decide. What is the name of this group? And finally, number eight. So what is this girl group, girl band called? What is this girl group called? That is your final picture question. Also, your final quiz question, that's it. Six rounds gone, all your questions are in. I hope you've managed to answer something for all the questions, whether it's right or wrong, and we'll find out for you as we go through the answers and put you out your misery. So here we go. Answers for round one, decades. Remember, 80s, 90s or noughties, nothing else will do. Question one, in which decade did Daniel Craig first play James Bond? It was the noughties, 2005. His first film was released. Number two, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Ukraine occurred in which decade? It was the 80s, 1986 to be exact. Number three, which decade saw the Nintendo Game Boy for sale in the UK? It was actually the 90s, 1990. It was introduced in the UK. Number four, Boris Johnson became mayor of London in which decade? It was the noughties, 2008. Number five, David Bowie starred in the movie Labyrinth in which decade? It was in the 80s. 1986 that film was released. Number six, in which decade was the fourth and final Lethal Weapon movie starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover released? It was the 90s, 1998. Question seven, Lewis Hamilton became the youngest Formula One champion in which decade? It was the noughties. 2008 saw him his first championship. And number eight, in which decade did O.J. Simpson go on trial for the murder of his wife? It was the 90s, 1995. Okay, round two, science. Question one, what are the ends of a magnet called? They are called poles. One being negative, one being positive. Question two, diamonds are formed from which element? They're formed from carbon. That's why they're one of the hardest or the hardest known material. Number three, which scientific instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Have you got one in your house? It's a barometer. Number four, what is the process called when light bends when passing through a traditional lens? It is refraction. 
Number five, what is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? Nitrogen, approximately 70% nitrogen. Number six, one point for each. The MMR vaccine protects against which three diseases? It is measles, mumps and rubella. MMR. Well done if you got all three. Question seven. The world's first commercial nuclear power station was opened in which country in 1956? It was the UK. The two superpowers, we beat them to it. And number eight, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to what reading on the Celsius scale? It is zero. Freezing point. OK, your connection round. How do we get on? Number one, what word other than magazine describes a metal holder for bullets for a firearm? It's a clip. Number two, what term means to divide a pack of playing cards by lifting a portion from the top? It's cut, you cut the deck, cut the pack. Number three, what is mental or physical activity that is carried out as a means of earning income? It is work, you work for your money. Number four, what word can mean to give financial, material or moral support or to bet on someone or something? It's back, back a horse. Number five, what word describes the visible residue left behind a snail as it moves along? It's a trail, a snail trail. Number six, what word describes the measurable force acting on an object due to gravity? It's its weight, it's measurable. Number seven, what is a building equipped with machinery for grinding grain into flour? It is a mill, flour mill. And number eight, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? Well, the connection is paper. Did you get it? Well done if you did. OK, we'll move on to round four. Spain. Question number one. In which of the Spanish costas would you find the holiday resort of Benidorm? It's on the, class, the Costa Blanca. Number two, which country borders mainland Spain to the west? It's Portugal. Number three, full of shops, cafes and tourist kiosks, what is the name of the street that runs from the port to the centre of Barcelona? It is La Rambla. Number four, which British overseas territory does Spain share a border? It shares a border with Gibraltar. Number five, which Spanish city hosted the 1992 Summer Olympic Games? They were held in Barcelona. I say, great visitor attraction. If you ever go, go and see it. Number six, which range of mountains separate Spain from France? It is the Pyrenees. Number seven, the stripes that make up the Spanish national flag are red. And what are the color? It's yellow. Red and yellow stripes. And number eight, what is the capital city of Spain? It is Madrid. Never been, hope to go one day. On to our general knowledge round then, question number one. From which direction does the sun rise? It rises in the east, land of the rising sun, Japan and all that. Number two, the three primary colours are red, blue and yellow. Number three, what is the world's smallest continent? Just come back from there. It's Australia. Australia. Number four, which planet is known as the red planet? It is Mars. Number five, what type of gas is absorbed by plants? It is carbon dioxide. Of course, from that they produce oxygen, which allows us to breathe. Number six, what is the primary ingredient in hummus? It's chickpeas, blended or mashed chickpeas. 
recipes. Number seven, which legendary surrealist artist is famous for painting melting clocks and earned him a fortune? Well, I don't know if it earned him a fortune, it's worth a fortune now. Salvador Dali. Number eight, what is longer, a nautical mile or a mile? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a nautical mile. Slightly longer, but it is longer. OK, your last round, your pictures. Question one, can you name this band sting in the middle there? Of course, it's the police. Number two, what is the name of this band? Well, if you recognize Bono, you'll know it's U2. Number three, what is this band called? Stephen Gatling there, it's Westlife. Question four, what is the name of this band? Of course, it's Take That. You recognize most of them young, but you recognize them. Number five, what band is this? It's uh, Marty Palo there, which wet, wet, wet. Number six, can you name this boy band? Of course you can, it's Boyzone. Number seven, what is the name of this group? That is Steps. A young looking H at the back there. And finally, number eight, what is this girl group called? It is Girls Allowed. Sure you got that, sure you did. Well done if you did. Anyway, that's it, that's your last answer in. So, how have you done? I hope you've done well. I hope you're pleased with yourself. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a fun quiz. It's put together so you can have a bit of fun, which I hope you had. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, another quiz done and dusted. Time flies when you're having fun. So thank you for joining me. And thank you for taking part. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share it with others and uh, have a go at another one. I've got loads on YouTube, all of a similar format. And if you want to drop me a line or give me any feedback at all, please do so. But yeah, that's it. So time for me just to thank you once again. And for now, from me is to say goodbye.